Hey everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today I am going to do a little September art haul. All of the stuff that I bought for some of the upcoming stuff on the channel. But before we go any further, I wanted to thank everybody because recently we hit 300 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I can't believe that this little channel that I'm just doing for fun that I really love doing um, has come up to having 300 subscribers already. That's just so fun and awesome. So we're going to do a little giveaway at the end of this video. So hang around if you want to uh, enter the giveaway. I'm going to talk about that at the at the end. So thank you again for subscribing. If you have been hanging around and you're thinking about subscribing, please subscribe. It helps me out. It helps the channel keep going. All right. So I bought stuff from Amazon. I bought something from Etsy. I bought um, some stuff from Zulily. This came from Zulily. So, and then I got some stuff from the Color Cave, uh, from the stash shop from Gem. So we're going to talk about all of it today. And I'm super jazzed. So let's get to it. Let me just scoot it on over and we'll start with the thing that was on top. All right. So I saw these in the Zulily. I was buying Christmas presents on Zulily. Do you guys know what Zulily is that don't live in the U.S.? It is an online shop. They have new stuff every day, and um, I occasionally go there to look for art supplies because sometimes I can get a steal if I'm buying other things. So the thing about Zulily is there is shipping, but if you are going to buy something on there and pay the shipping, then a lot of things get shipped free after that. So sometimes if I already, I think I probably already had shipped something that day, and I saw this. So this is a book by Pepin, um, and it is all stickers of Flora, and I just really wanted it. I, I used a few already, um, but look at this stuff. I didn't open everything in here, but I did open this right away because I just thought it was beautiful, and it will be good for card making. I haven't made a lot of cards lately, but I do need to get back into some of that. I thought these would be really pretty for my bullet journal. Hello. Um, these are like nice big tags I can use for my bullet journal. And then in the back here, there's some even bigger ones. Just think these are pretty. And then there's these big strips that are like washi tape. And again, I just thought it was really unique and different and it was not very expensive. If I can find this on Amazon and link it, I will. Um, full disclosure, my Amazon links are affiliate links. It costs no extra for you, but it does help me out a little bit, which in turn helps the channel grow. So if you think you're going to buy something, um, feel free to grab it from one of my links below. All right, so this is something that I bought. Then I bought these. Okay, so I am getting ready to do a whole video where I'm going to talk about different brands of watercolor crayons. And this is one of two products that I bought recently for it. I really didn't want to invest in these, but I felt like they've been a big deal lately. And if everybody is talking about them, I want to at least give them a fair shake when I do my watercolor crayon video. So I bought a six pack of them. I got them for, I think, 18 bucks. That's still $3 a pencil, which is more expensive than my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2s. So just keep that in mind. But um, I did get a decent deal. Stay Below does have good products. I'm going to give them a shot. On the other side of that, I wanted to try a cheaper brand of watercolor pencil or crayon. Sorry. So I bought these signature watercolor crayons from Crayola on Amazon. These were around nine bucks on Amazon. So they were a much more affordable option. In general, I'm trying to open these so that we can look at them. There we go. In general, I feel like uh, Crayola Signature is usually way better than just straight out Crayola. So we've got 12 pencils here, and they're they're pretty decent sized for, and, and they're all pigment. There's a nice little wrapper on them. So um, yeah, I mean, look, there's immediately pigment coming off on my hand. They came with a brush that it's not awful for Crayola. Sometimes Crayola brushes are kind of bad. This is a round seven. It's a little wonky, but it's not awful. It's not awful. Maybe we'll test those later in this video. Um, did they send me information? Let's see, instruction sheet. Oh, they sent me a mixing palette. 
Well, that's pretty nifty. Um, I think the Woody Ones sent me a pencil sharpener for them, which is actually really nice if it works. Hold on. Yeah, the Woody Ones here, if you take a look on the inside, they have a pencil sharpener in there that goes with them. See it down there? Um, but I don't think they came with anything other than that. They came with that. Yeah, that's what they came with. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, these came with a mixing palette. And they give you some instructions. And they show you how to do it on dark paper. Interesting. Alright, so we will have to play with those. Let me know in the comments below the thing you're most excited to see me play with. This is for an upcoming video. I think, I don't know when the art supply showdown is coming for the watercolor crayons. It is in the works, but it's not coming out quite yet. All right, so those were the watercolor crayons that I purchased. Uh, okay, I bought a 24 set of gouache paint from Magic Fly. This was a journey, kids, because I have wanted to get a set of gouache paints a 24 set of, of decent gouache, oh my gosh, for months. I have been waiting for Arteza's 24 set of gouache to come back for months. And every time I check, it's in some kind of bundle. That's the only way I can get it with all this extra paper that I don't want or need and extra stuff that I don't want or need. I just want the paint. The only paint set that Arteza has is 60 paints. And I'm sorry, but that's too many for what I want. So after a lot of consideration, I saw this set and I saw a couple different people that literally said the same thing as me. They were waiting for Arteza gouache to come back. It didn't come back. So they tried these and they actually really liked them. So here's what we have in this box. I'm just going to pull them out. I'm not going to swatch these right now because I will do a whole video just on these. But we've got one, two, three and four. Uh-oh. Oh, please. I dropped somebody. Pause while I get it. Okay, so there they are. And this came with a three pack of brushes. They don't look the best, but I'll give them a try when I test everything out. But we have two whites, which is nice. Um, we have a gamboge, a yellow ochre, and a, a lemon yellow, so good cool yellows. One black, I shouldn't need more than that, that's fine. And then we have red wise, we have a vermilion, a scarlet red, and a crimson red, that's not bad. I don't, we'll see how cool this red is, because I, I feel like we need a cool red here somewhere. Um, We have Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Raw Sienna, Raw Umber, that's a lot of brown. One gray, Apricot, that'll be nice because then I won't have to mix my oranges because I only have this orange yellow. That's it for oranges, okay. Um, and then we have Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Blue, and th it looks like Thalo Blue. Yep, Thalo Blue, nice. A Violet, a True Violet, that's nice. Um, then we have Emerald Green. Hopefully sap green, viridian, a color called seaweed. Okay, um, so that's not bad, not bad. We will see about, I might need to add a cool red or a pink. And like a mauve color is the only thing I feel like I'm really missing here. But overall, I know that these, these gouache tubes are just a titch bigger than the ones from Arteza. And I think they were around 17 or 18 bucks for the whole set on Amazon. So they are definitely worth giving a try to. They are not going to be as high quality as something like, um, you know, Holbein, but that's okay. I have a small set of Holbein acrylic washes. These are just regular old gouache. So anyway, I bought these to test on the channel. I've been getting more into gouache and the jelly gouache painting. So I thought this would be a fun addition. It's going to get its own video. I just wanted to show you what was in here um, with the haul video, but... I don't want to give an impression on them until I actually paint with them. But I will tell you that if you've been looking for Arteza's gouache and waiting for it to come back, this 
was recommended to me. So that's how I ended up with it. Another video I'm working on is metallic markers. And so these were, um, you know, they were recommended to me when I bought the watercolor pencils from Crayola Signature. So I just think these look fun. I want to try them. I think I already tried one. I think I tried the either the blue or the purple. I think it was the purple. So let's go ahead and pull it out and I will, here. I have a book here that's got a spot on it. Hopefully I'm not messing with anything on the other side. Nope, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do it here. Um, let me see. This is my Stillman and Burr Nova series book. Yeah, so I should be able to do that. Let me just stick something under it so that if it uh, leaks, here, we'll stick this under it so that if it leaks, it's not going to cause a problem. But essentially, this is supposed to outline your letters. Oh, and it doesn't work on black. <laughs> you can't see it on black. You can't see what it's supposed to do, but it didn't bleed that time. Let's try it on some white mixed media paper. All right, here, here's a piece of white watercolor paper that I was just using to swatch. So let's just use it here. So what you can see what it does is that it outlines the letters in that metallic and it's kind of chunky. So I don't know how much I'm going to like these. They're kind of neat. I don't know. Um, but I am going to test them in the uh, metallic marker challenge just because they're different and we'll see how they turn out. All right, I have two last items for you. All right, I have two last items for you. The first one is this amazingly beautiful sketchbook that I bought from a lady in India. Uh, she has somebody hand make these beautifully embroidered covers. Can you see that? And it took a little while for it to get to me, but it was worth the wait. It's got this beautiful, like, handmade paper in here. It's definitely all very handmade. I think I'm going to use this primarily for gouache painting because I think gouache will hold up on the paper really nicely. I already tried one gouache piece in it, but I'm not going to share it yet. I'm going to link uh, Tanya's shop. Well, I'm going to link her Etsy, her Instagram. Can't talk today. I'm going to link her Instagram below in case anybody is interested in getting one of these. She was really lovely and I am really, really satisfied with the sketchbook. So thank you, Tanya. I love it and I can't wait to fill it with gouache painting. And last but not least, I bought a few things from the staff shop from Jem over at the Color Cave. Uh, Jem, I love your videos. I love watching you. You are definitely an inspiration. So it was really fun to get some things from your channel. Let me pull them all out here and show everybody what I got. Jem wrote me a nice little note that says, thank you, such gratitude for support of the cave. I hope you enjoy the supplies. Warm wishes, Jem. Thank you, Jem. Like I said, you're the best. And then I have a little thing here. She sent me this super cool paper clip, which wasn't part of it, but I just like it. And I got a color cave sticker. I'm excited to put that on something. Okay, so then I didn't get Posca's. This is just for transport purposes. Okay, so here's what we got. So I bought a C White 8 brush. I love these C White brushes. I have one right here that I was using for another video and I just think they're great synthetic brushes. They work really well for a lot of things and I really like their snap and they remind me of Princeton snap brushes but since she sells them at the cave I figured I'd pick one up. Then, I'm not going to unwrap these, but I will try to see if you can see what they are. So, she got a different upgrade than I got last month. And so, one of the gouaches that she got was the Cyan from uh, Le Franc and Bourgeois. I can't get this gouache very easily here in the U.S. So, since I had a yellow, I figured the Cyan would be a great addition. If I could just get um, a red of some kind, I would have my primaries. 
So I'm really hoping that I can do that. And this is another of the, the Royal Talon um, white gouache. And I can always use an extra tube of white gouache. So since they came together, I got those. And then I've been slowly picking up a few polychromos pencils here and there. So I have three here um, to add to the two that I got in my Faber-Castell Triad box. This is Pink Matter Lake, um, Helio Blue Reddish, and Phthalo Blue. So they will go with my other super duper fancy pencils. I have a little box of all of my super duper fancy pencils. And so I will add all of that. So that is everything that I got in this video. Um, this is everything that I ordered recently. So I have one more big package to add to this art haul that I had not intended to add, but it came in the mail in time. I got another package of stuff from Stationery Pal, and I thought that I would open it and go through it with you here and show you what I ended up getting. I am trying to remember what's in here. <laughs> That's bad, right? That's bad when you, like, don't remember. I remember a few of the things, but, like, on the whole... This feels like a very big package of things, and I do not remember buying most of it. Oh, look what they put in there. Okay. Let's just pull all of it out if I can. And go through it. What are you? I genuinely don't remember genuinely don't remember some of this. It says, thank you for your order. Okay, that's very cute. And it says, dear Christina, thank you for supporting us. Oh, spoiler alert, that's my full name. <laughs> there are no words to describe how thankful you are. Here's a gift to you. Oh, so I got a little gift. Um, and it says to check out their YouTube channel for inspiration. So there's their YouTube their Instagram and their TikTok. If you TikTok, I do not TikTok. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So, so, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. It says, thank you for choosing us. As a thank you for your support during the back to school season, we've prepared this PAL Award 15% discount code for you, which is valid until October 20 or October 31st, 2022. Keep it secret. Share it only with your close friends. Okay. I guess you guys are now my close friends. I didn't know that's what that was going to say. All right, let me pause and kind of divide this all up and then we'll go through it. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I know this doesn't look a ton better, but it does for my brain. So here we go. <clears throat> all right. Um, I did buy my daughter some things. I remember this now. So I bought her a change purse because she has one that's kind of, I don't know, I think it's a little difficult, but I just could not resist this little penguin guy. So she can keep change and trinkets in there. He's a little fuzzy. He's so cute. And she's probably going to snag this bear too. So we'll just make a little pile of stuff that is going to end up get, being given to her. This is a Lego set that makes a little succulent. I'm very excited for her to do that, and then she can either keep it on her desk or I'll put it on my desk. I just thought that was cute. These are cell phone holders, I believe. These little chairs. Let's put one together. But I actually bought it for two separate purposes. Yeah, so this is a cell phone chair holder. It looks like a chair. It just looks like a little dollhouse chair. That's actually why I bought, they were on sale. So I bought one. This one I'm probably going to give to my daughter for her dollhouse so she can have it if she wants to use it for that. And then I thought I would keep the mint one either for me or if she wants it for her dollhouse. Um, but I would like to have a little thing that I could put my phone on here. Let's talk washi tapes. So I know I bought these two washi tapes. This one that's like this little holographic dinosaurs. thought that was cute for my daughter. And I bought this one for me, which is just this really pretty galaxy because I love painting galaxies. 
I don't remember buying this washi tape. Maybe it was included as an extra or I accidentally put it in my cart, but it's this cute little bunny guy. Um, well, maybe I did buy this for my daughter. Again, um, I think that she will like that. Okay, these scissors are awesome. I already have a pair. I just bought a second pair because we're always looking for nice crafting scissors, um, nice stationary scissors. These look nice and they are nice, so I bought an extra pair. I think this is a little glue, um, glue tape, I think. We're going to open it and see here. Um, let's get something to open this with. Can I do it myself? I was going to say, I just had a thing here. There we go. Alright, so yeah, this is glue tape. Let me just... Oh, it opens like that. So yeah, it's adhesive tape. But look how cute this little koala is. Super adorable. Love that. I bought some big clips. I have a couple big uh, sketchbooks that are hard to clip down, and so I bought some big purple clips for that. I know that's why I bought those. This, I think, is like, it's supposed to look like alcohol inks. Let's open it. And it's paper. But yeah, look how pretty these are. I just thought they would make really nice backgrounds for cards. I've made papers like this for card backgrounds, but I just thought, yeah, these would be really pretty for that purpose. So I picked them up. We have some stationary stickers. Super cute and super specific, like Emot and um, Zebra Click Art. These are stickers that are florals. Um, I thought those would be pretty for bullet journaling and just in general. I thought my daughter might really like these little mood stickers for like uh, do, doing a mood tracker one month. I thought maybe that would be cool for her. And then I bought these. I know I bought one for me and one for my daughter, but I just thought they were neat little notebooks because they actually have this really pretty cover and then they have their lined but I just thought they would be a really nice little notebook I got two of those here we have some little to-do pads I thought this would be let's open one but I thought this would be useful for my desk because I can just like slap it down right next to me and write on it. It is coming off a little bit there. The glue is not the greatest on this one, but that's okay. All right, let's open this. I don't remember what this is and it's in a box. Okay. Oh, it is, I know what it is now. I bought another one of these. So I have one of these and I really like it, but they are stackable. So I bought another washi tape folder. So you basically just pull this little guy out here and you can fill it up with washi tape. And then you put your washi tape in here and it sits on your desk. Let me show you the one that I have already filled. So here's the one I already have filled. It's got all my different, like, oh, there's spring just popping off there. But yeah, spring, summer, fall, winter, and then like just the little rainbow. But it's, it's the same. See, they stack. So I could add a layer to it if I want to like that. I don't know that that is how I'm going to use this. I might just stick this one. Um, on a different desk or use it, I'll have my daughter use it, but I definitely love these because it's a nice way to store my washi tapes.
Okay, and then I know that I have pens in here, so let's open this up, get to the pens. I know I actually bought some pens via Stationery Pal this time around. All right, I bought some more Mujis. My daughter likes purple, so I got her a purple Muji pen and another black Muji pen just because I go through them quite a lot. This is a Zebra Mild Liner. Oh, it is the, so it is the one with the chisel nib. Mine just have a brush nib. I wanted to test one of the ones that was a chisel and bullet nib. So I bought this one for myself just because I'm doing a felt tip pen review video and I wanted to have one example of this. And then I bought these two super adorable Pentel um, Energel pens. I think one is blue and one is black. Um, but they just, the look at the prints on those, just super cute. This one's like metallic. I wonder, so I'm going to try to write with this one because I want to see what color the ink is. Oops. How blue is it? Okay, good. So it's like a, it's like a regular blue. Oh, that's like a really neat tip. I love that. Oh man, I'm going to be using that a lot. That's a really good pen. And then this one is, is a black one, I can see, because it has the 0.5 in black. So I'm not going to open this one just yet. All right, but that is what I got from Stationery Pal here in the month of September. I am not exactly sure how I'm going to divide all this up. I might end up using some of it for Christmas presents. This was a extra little uh, freebie that I got, which is super cool. But um, I did get my daughter some stuff. This is definitely all for her. The scissors are probably going to stay up here and I'll use them at one desk because I have a couple desks in the house. But there is what I bought at Stationery Pal. Now stay tuned and I am next going to go ahead and talk about the 300 subscriber giveaway. So here we go. All right, so now it's the time everybody's been waiting for, and that is for the giveaway. So first of all, I just want to come on here again and thank you all for getting me over 300 subscribers on YouTube. Um, you guys have just been so wonderful as I have grown the channel. The comments that I get on this channel and the thank yous and the just lovely well wishes that I get every week are so nice, and I love responding and talking to you guys. And I'm so glad that my little corner of the internet can be helpful and useful to many of you. So, as a thank you, I want to do this giveaway. I got this Rosa Gallery Botanical 14 half pan set um, from my buddies um, on the Ukrainian Etsy shop. And in case you were feeling like it was lacking a little bit, because there are a few colors that I would prefer or maybe want to swap out, there's like three yellows and there's a lot of reds and pinks. I also bought three half pans to go with it, a burnt umber, a Payne's gray, and a sap green, so that should take care of some of the neutrals you might be missing, and I feel like you need at least one more green in this set. So I bought these and I wanted to use them as part of the giveaway. So here is how you enter the giveaway. Um, you need to be willing to give me your actual address so that I can send these to you. Um, so make sure that you're willing to give me your name and address. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and leave me a comment below telling me your favorite fall activity. So we are going to open the giveaway today. Today is September 13th and we are going to close the giveaway on, I wrote it down, We are going to close the giveaway on the 30th of September. So today is the 13th of September. You have until the 30th of September to see this video and leave a comment telling me your favorite fall activity and be subscribed to the channel and be willing to give me your address. And this is international. I'll ship these anywhere that um, I want them to go as a thank you. 
So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little art haul. Thank you again for 300 subscribers and good luck in the giveaway. We will see you in the next one. Bye for now.